What is up, everybody? It is the one only Fat Jesus here, and I'm playing Demolition on a Village for you guys today, and I'm on for three commentary. And the gun I'm using today is the FAD, son! One of the best assault rifles in this game, and I'm using Red Dot on it with Impact, Side of Hand, Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and Stalker Pro. One of the three best perks in this game if you want to run around and demolish people. And what I like to do right off in any game mode, I like to go to the power position of the map. And one of the power positions in this map is this bridge right here. And throw a motion sensor over the gate really far so you can see if there's any enemies over there. As you can see, there's one enemy right there. So I run there, boom, 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 pick him off real quick. And I want to give a little birthday shout out to my friend because I, I think he deserves some more subs. So if you guys are watching this video, please go check out his videos. The link will be in the description. And his name is David. And he's my probably my best friend. You know, he's a, really one of my good friends. I've known him for like four years now. And he's a great commentator. His YouTube channel is youtube.com. The hawk is yellow. And I just call him Yellow Hawk or whatever. So you guys go check him out, please. Go give him some subs. Say happy birthday. Just give him some love, guys. And I want to start talking about maybe some tips in Marvel 3 because I know a lot of things that most people don't know. And that's why, maybe because I'm really good at this game. And I know a little bit more secrets than most people. And if you guys are wondering why the gameplay is rewinding, is because this gameplay was like 14 minutes long, and I could not post a 14 minute commentary. I mean, I don't, I can't even watch 14 minute commentaries. I think my limit is around eight to ten minutes. So, and it was really kind of boring in the beginning because I was kind of camping and defending the position, and I was like six and zero or something. Then I die, and I only die one time in this game. I go 35 and one. I demolished these kids. It was on Team Tactical too. And as you guys know for the title, I got an Assault Juggernaut. Oh my god. I've been wanting to get Assault Juggernaut from day one. But if you guys watched my last commentary, which will be at the end of this video, is that I want to get used to the game. So I used his support class, or I used the support kill streaks until I got used to the game, know the flow of the game, and that's what I did. And that's paid off now. I'm I'm doing really good with the salt kit, and I'm getting nice kills, and I'm building my streak, and it feels like I'm playing Marvel 2 all over again, all over again, getting nice streaks. And they get a freaking pave low from my care package, and I end up getting underneath this bridge and hiding there, and I get about three kills while underneath this bridge. The same guy goes to the same bridge and gets shot by the same weapon, the FAD, by me, son. And I rewind this part also, and at the end of this game, it is epic. I get the assault juggernaut, and I'm just like, do, 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 do. And I, I believe I get like 11 kills with it. Because I got a challenge afterwards saying, get 10 kills with the same kill streak or something like that. And now this commentary is basically on maybe how to get the assault juggernaut. So just some tips on how to maybe keep a 2.0 KD. Because my KD is about a 2.5, and I keep it in many ways. You have to think about every single move. Explain that just a little bit more detail after the Street Fighter Journal. Just kidding. Well, in order to get it 2.0 KD, I mean, you do have to do a little bit of camping. But, I mean, a lot of players don't want to have a KD that's really good. They just want to mess around, maybe go negative every game, you know, have fun. And I have fun having a 2.0 KD. Me having fun is killing people and not dying. Some other guys fun might be using a riot shield. That's perfectly fine. This game is to be played however you want to. I just got the soul trigger right there, baby. And that's what I really like this about this game because you can play it how any way you want to play. You can be a KD whore. You can be a riot shield noob. You can go around noob tubing. F you guys if you guys do that. But you get to play it however you want to. And how I like to play is be a KD whore. And if you guys want to know how to get a 2.0 KD or even a 3.0 KD, I mean, if you just every single match, I obviously, well, you guys don't obviously know this, but I don't go try hard every match. Most of my gameplays are going try hard. About 75% of my game time is going try hard. But I do have fun sometimes. Like, I use a riot shield, I go around a snipe, and I had a really nice sniping gameplay, but I wasn't recording. So, I mean, you can't, I can't do anything about that because when I'm having fun, I don't really record. But I'm going to start getting some uh, funny gameplays, maybe some recon, assault, juggernaut gameplays, you know. Because when I use the recon juggernaut, it is really fun. 
and I just run around with my USB pistol, and nobody can kill me. They're just too stupid to kill me. And if I'm playing with a bunch of noobs, it's just over with, and I'm getting kills with a damn recon juggernaut with my USB pistol. And the soul juggernaut is really great for objective game modes because you can sit there with the LMG. And you never get out of the thing unless you get stun grenade, shot in the head, knife, and then blown up, or you get hit by a predator. I mean, it's about 90% of the chance you're gonna survive for the rest of the match unless something lucky happens. Like, I got the assault juggernaut. Two seconds later, I got blown up by a predator missile. I mean, that's just bad luck. I guess they were waiting until enemy juggernaut or something like that. Like, they knew how to juggernaut come in, they got a pred, and they waited for me to call it in, pick it up, put it on. And something really hilarious happens to David right now, the Yellow Hawk. He calls an Assault Juggernaut as well, and it lands on the roof. And I'm like, hey, you can only have one Assault Juggernaut. It just isn't fair. It isn't fair, man. It is not fair. And here's a little quick tips. I'm going to make a whole comment here. Maybe some strategies on how to get a 2.0 KD. But this is basically what I do. Just a little tips for you guys to scan in the commentary. You gotta stay in one position, and you gotta keep, you gotta check your corners, you gotta check every position, you always gotta look down the sight. If you're running around not checking your corners, you're gonna get shot in your ass, you're gonna get shot in your butt cheeks, you're gonna get shot in your forehead, you get shot from your side, everything like that. If you keep your, like, line, if you keep your gun pointing at your area you wanna shoot, and you move up a little bit, and you take cover, taking cover is really important in COD, but the connection always messes it up, so I mean, it's not always effective. Always check your corners and prone when you're reloading or high when you're reloading. I know some people drone to the reload, get shot. You know, when you're reloading, make sure to take cover. When there's nobody there, take cover, pop your head out, nobody there, pop down, look the other way, pop up. You know, never just look the other way when you're vulnerable the other way. And you always got to think about every single move you do. Don't run into the middle of the map acting like you're going to go Rambo because in this game, you can't go Rambo unless you have the salt juggernaut, baby. But you always got to think of everything you're doing. Never just run out there acting like, ooh, maybe that can happen. Think it through real quick. Look on your map. Always push start. There's a good thing when you push start. You, when you push start, you can see where the enemies are. I mean, there's always going to be that uh, assassin guy. Or as you can see, there's this juggernaut on the roof. There's always some guy with, like, a recon kind of kid. Or something like that. And sound whore. Sound whoring is a really good thing. If you don't have a turn beat, you can still sound whore in this game. There's a lot of noise. But, yeah. Not not a lot of people run dead silence. First of all, it's a high level. And there's a lot, a lot of noise in this damn game. Boom, 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 boom. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Peace out, guys. Booyah, son. Thanks for watching my last commentary. And if you guys haven't checked out my last video, here they are. To the left is a video that I just recently made, which is my latest commentary of me talking about some games that might be better than Marvel 3. And to the right is my one of my latest videos. It's a Marvel 3 Easter egg with a teddy bear with a Kimbo Deagles. You guys might have seen that already. I mean, go check it out. Leave some good feedback. And peace out, guys. And thanks for watching that latest commentary of mine. And please leave a comment, thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe. It's for the Fat Jesus signing out. Peace.